Well, for the very first time since her death, we're now hearing from the family of Eva Kaur. The Hoosier Holocaust survivor and forgiveness advocate passed away last week on July 4th. Today, our Kevin Rader spoke with her son about her legacy. Eva Kaur had gone to Poland 30 times since she was liberated in 1945. Her son Alex said, without fail, it always invigorated her. So she had this incredible ability to relate to anybody, whether it was a 10-year-old child or somebody really old, that I, I wish I had that gift, and um, I think the world will miss that. Many people advised Ava not to forgive her captors. Alex was even one of them, but now he admits. The changes in her and the fact that she laughed more and had a you know smile on her face more, and I hope one of the legacies of my mom's life is that people uh, can now think of forgiveness as an option, whether it's something you know, at this level with forgiving a Nazi or whether it's at a small, small local level forgiving a girlfriend or whatever. He remembers once a child asking his mom what she did to survive the Holocaust. Why don't you stand up? And my mom walked into this 10-year-old's personal space really close, and the 10-year-old moved back. And my mom said, why'd you do that? Well, you were too close. I had no idea to move back. And she goes, that's how I survived. And it was for a 10-year-old, it's a great lesson. I mean, you just do it. You don't think about it, you just do it. And what will he miss the most? For me, it's going to be a big hole in my heart. Um, she was kind of the anchor of the family. And um, I'm going to miss, she was my best friend. She was my mentor. So the fact that I can't hug her, kiss her, talk to her um, will be the hardest thing. Said he still walks into her home and says, thinks of mom when he walks in there, as you might expect. The body of Ava Kaur is arriving back home to Indiana tonight. The funeral will be Sunday in Terre Haute. What a life and legacy of forgiveness that she really left the entire world. Yeah. He had some really interesting points about when he was there. There was a choir that actually mm -hmm. met them and sang to her only 24 hours before then she passed. He said it's something that their family will certainly never forget. Yeah, we yeah. certainly thank them for sharing her with all of us. Yes, we did love her so much. Yeah. Kevin, right. thanks.